projector lenses. I'm nearing the end of my custom retrofitted uh, headlight build and I am about to etch in the designs into the projector lenses and I thought this would be a good opportunity to show you guys exactly how to do that. Um, it looks intimidating but it's actually fairly simple and we're going to go over that today. So where we're starting is at my lab. Uh, I have a design here on the computer that I want for my larger lens and then we're going to go with the different design on my smaller lens. Uh, you're going to need some kind of vinyl cutting machine or access to one uh, or some you can purchase them online. I know that you can request custom uh, decals from eBay or uh, Amazon and they'll print you up a design. It's important to note that as you're placing your design on your projectors, you're going to want whatever decal that you have to be in reverse because you're going to be laying it down one direction, but it will etch the opposite direction when it flex off of the lens here. So that's very important. Has to be reversed. So come on, hang out with me for a while, and I'm going to show you how to retrofit etched projector lenses. Okay, so for my larger lenses, I want to go with a RX-8 rotor. Um, it's actually just a rotor with an RX-8 in the middle that I made up and um, those will be reflecting off of the larger projector lenses. Uh, I have them laid out here. I have to just simply scroll over and flip. Now they are mirrored. So when they come out, they're going to be mirrored. And ideally, that uh, looks pretty awesome. It's hard to see on the camera, but this is actually should work out quite well. Um, but there is only one way to tell. We need to go send it. Okay, so here we have it. Um, what we're going to be using is the Armor Etch Glass Etching Cream. Uh, this is probably best. There is like vinyl, etching vinyl, which you can put on these lenses. But uh, I'm a little bit wary of that due to the fact that these things are subject to a lot of heat. So you really want to make sure you just have a permanent etch on there and not something you can just peel off later on. Um, so make sure that you go with something that uh, will withstand the test of time and I uh, just it for for reliability sakes I like to go with the etching cream you can also do it with a sandblaster or a mini blaster there's a few different ways of doing this but uh, do it yourself at home this is um, $22.99 at uh, Hobby Lobby I would use that 40% off coupon that everybody is <laughs> allowed and uh, that is the best option. Foam brush for application because you want to put it on pretty thick. Uh, the design on my larger projector is going to be a, um, a rotary design. If I can get this thing to focus, which it won't because this is my... There it is. The rotary RX-8 will go on the larger projector. And then I just have this NF for my, lar my smaller projector. So, first things first, use some rubbing alcohol, get rid of all wax and grease off these things, you want them spotless. No contamination on the surface. Use a terry cloth towel, you don't want to scratch the lenses. Want these bad boys coming out pristine. So, next step here, I'm going to put on the vinyl and uh, get it all taped off and ready to go.
there you have it guys that concludes this how to uh the etching actually uh one thing i will say that i wasn't really expecting is it etched differently on the two separate pieces of glass um some glass is a little bit more resistant to it so uh the stock rx8 projector lenses etched rather um aggressively and then the aftermarket um hondai uh lenses they etched but they were very 3d kind of a different effect one that i haven't really seen before and um first instinct was stop uh take it and media blast it and make it look like uh what everybody else does but after looking at it and using the LEDs and taking it at a few different angles, I actually love it. And the uniqueness, I think, is really dope, too. So uh, inadvertently, I found something pretty cool. Um, today is going to be a big day. I'm going to be throwing the headlights together. I'm putting up a video tomorrow with the switchback LEDs, the, uh, uh, the whole thing all put back together, wrapped up, and ready to go. So tomorrow's video will be the conclusion of the headlights finally unless there's a fire or a hurricane well, actually if i get hungry really i mean the, my point is tomorrow's probably gonna work and i'm hoping that you guys stay tuned and subscribe so you get notified because i'm excited and then we can start painting this car and getting it to where it needs to be, starting with the headlights. Like, comment, subscribe. I need as much help as I can get, guys. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.